Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us today for the Johns Hopkins School of Education Special Education Virtual Webinar. My name is Tanya McMillan. I am an admissions coordinator here at the Johns Hopkins School of Education. I also have my colleague from the Office of Admissions here with me today, and she will introduce herself. Hi, everyone. My name is Sion John, Assistant Director of Admissions here at the Johns Hopkins School of Education. Welcome. We also have Assistant Professor Dr. Alexandra Shelton join us today. Hi, everyone. So before we begin, I would like to cover a few housekeeping topics. Next slide, please. First, today's webinar is being recorded. We will be able to share a link of the recording with you, usually within one week after the event is complete. Also, there will be a Q&A session at the end of the presentation. Please type your questions in the chat box and we will answer your questions accordingly. I'd like to share the agenda for today's virtual webinar. We will start the presentation sharing an overview of the Johns Hopkins School of Education. Then Dr. Shelton will go over the details of the special education programs. Lastly, we will cover admissions requirements, go over financial aid and scholarship, and finally leave the floor open for questions at the end. So to start here, we have a few quick facts about the Johns Hopkins School of Education. We are one of nine schools at Johns Hopkins University. We began offering college courses for teachers in 1909 and then became our own school in 2007. We are proud to share that Johns Hopkins School of Education is consistently ranked one of the top schools in education by the US News and World Report. Here you also see some fast facts about our school. For our enrollment, we have approximately 1,741 students and offer 25 graduate programs, which includes doctoral, master's, and graduate certificate programs. We also have a strong network of over 24,000 School of Education alums. Here we have our special education faculty, Dr. Rebecca Cruz, Dr. Tamara Martyr, and Dr. Alexander Shelton. Presenting for us today, we have Dr. Shelton. Dr. Shelton joined the School of Education in 2021. Her research focuses on improving literacy outcomes for secondary students with mild disabilities, including mild intellectual disability and learning disabilities via intensive intervention and teacher professional development and coaching. Dr. Shelton was previously a high school special education teacher in Baltimore City Public Schools, where she served students with and without disabilities in English language arts, reading, math, and science. At this time, I'll hand the floor over to Dr. Shelton. Welcome and thank you for joining us today, Dr. Shelton. Hi, thank you. So there is a critical shortage of special education teachers in most of the United States. And the, pandem the pandemic, we, because of the pandemic, we have an even greater need to have well-trained special educators. So it's important that states and school districts really identify ways to increase the number of people who are entering the teaching profession with a focus on special education. And it's also important to address and increase the diversity within the field of special education. And that's why we offer three um, master's programs. We can change to the next slide. So here are our three pathways in the field of special education. And these different pathways allow um, candidates to customize their master's degree to meet their professional goals. So we have the um, master's in special education with a focus on mild to moderate disabilities. Um, we have one that is in severe disabilities with an autism focus and another master's in special education 
uh, focused on severe disabilities with an emphasis on ABA um, or applied behavior analysis. And so today we will be focusing on two of these pathways, the mild to moderate disabilities focus and the autism focus. Next slide, please. So uh, before we really dive into those two pathways, we offer classes in the summer, fall, and spring, regardless of the pathway. And most of our in-person classes occur in the evening at a centrally located campus. That's the Applied Physics Lab, which is in Laurel. We also have some classes online across all of our programs. And most candidates take two to three years to complete the program. Next slide. So along with um, completing coursework, there are specific program requirements that students will have to complete as they move through the program. There's the Praxis II Assessment in Special Education, which is specifically for candidates who are seeking special education certification in Maryland. There is the Praxis II Assessment in Reading. Again, this is a certification requirement. There's a comprehensive exam that candidates complete midway through the program. And then um, we have a culmination project um, that candidates complete if they're seeking certification, and then a graduate project and presentation, which is required for those who are not seeking certification, but it is an option for those who are seeking certification. And I'm happy to answer additional questions about these milestones towards the end. So on the next slide, there's a bit more information about the Master's in Special Education, Severe Disabilities, Autism Focus. And so this master's degree program allows candidates to gain exper experience and expertise in providing specialized instruction to students with autism in grades K through 12. And so uh, candidates receive the experiences and the expertise or earn the expertise uh, by completing 36 credits of coursework. Uh, and this, um, these 36 credits are across 12 courses. Six of these courses are in person while the other six are online. And one of these is an internship that uh, candidates complete towards the end of the program. The program can be completed in two years. And Dr. Martyr is uh, the lead of this degree program. So if you have any questions, um, I'm happy to attempt to answer them towards the end, but Dr. Martyr is definitely the uh, point of contact for the masters uh, with a focus on autism. On the next slide, you just see some uh, courses that are a part of this degree program, such as teaching communication and social skills, inclusive practices, and community and independent living skills. We also, on the next slide, um, we also have a graduate certificate in autism. And so this certificate is designed for family members, educators, and others who are interested in gaining practical knowledge for supporting uh, children and adults with autism. It's 18 credits, um, which is likely six courses completely online. And this program addresses several competencies for providing effective education to students with, with autism. And again, you can contact Dr. Martyr at tmartyr1 at jhu.edu for additional information. Okay, so we also have the Masters of Special Education or Masters in Special Education with a focus on, the, on mild to moderate disabilities. And so uh, with this focus, candidates will gain expertise in providing specialized instruction to meet the educational needs of students with disabilities within a wide range of educational settings. It tends to be, um, the program tends to have a focus on students with mild to moderate disabilities given the name. Um, but what's especially important to note about this master's program is that this is the master's program for candidates to complete if they are seeking initial certification in special education. So this is our only master's slash certification program. And so candidates select 
kind of two tracks or two grade ranges, either elementary middle, which covers grades one through eight, and secondary adult, which covers grades six through 12. So there's the middle school overlap between these two um, ranges. So middle school, you essentially just have to choose which one. Um, and we have specific methods courses and math, spoken and written language, transition and behavior management, for example. Um, it consists of 39 credits of coursework if you are seeking certification. That's 13 courses and two internships. You can complete the program without seeking certification. And then it would just be 36 credits of coursework, 12 courses, only one of those would be an internship. And this uh, master's program can also be completed in two years. On the next slide, you see some of our courses for the mild to moderate disabilities focus, um, classroom management, educational assessment, a focus on spoken and written language. If you're focusing on elementary middle, some of these classes are different if you're focusing on secondary adult because they are geared towards your specific grade range or, or your specific grade um, track. And you can see towards the end of this list, there is an there is an induction internship and a culmination internship. Next slide, please. For the masters with a focus on mild to moderate disabilities, we do have a partnership with Montgomery County Public Schools. Uh, it is called the Special Education Teacher Immersion Training Program, also known as SEDIT. And so this is a partnership that we have with MCPS to um, really encourage MCPS paraeducators and other um, employees, school-based employees, to earn their master's in certification with us at Hopkins. It's a two-year program where candidates earn their master's on the MMD uh, pathway. Because it's a partnership, it, we really take a cohort approach in which all of the candidates from a given year take their courses together, either the elementary middle grade track or the secondary adult grade track. And so uh, by completing the program through SEDIT, all candidates will be eligible for their special education teaching, certifi teaching certification, again, elementary, middle, or secondary adult. One benefit of completing the, um, or one benefit of completing the master's program through SEDIT is that uh, candidates have the opportunity to complete their job embedded internships in a classroom where they work at their school. I will say that if you are already a school-based employee, but not in MCPS, there is still the opportunity to complete a job embedded internship um, because at, like within your district or within your school, but set it is specifically for MCPS. And by continuing to work in MCPS, uh, candidates still have access to their salary and their benefits, of course, as well as partial tuition support. I uh, manage this uh, program or this partnership on the Hopkins side of things, so I'm happy to answer any questions now, but you can also email me at ashelt18 at jhu.edu. So here's just a bit more information about the ideal candidate for the um, MMD focus, this is primarily for those who are seeking initial special education certification through a state approved program. Again, uh, candidates can still earn their master's with us without seeking certification. Um, but if your goal is to receive certification, then the MMD pathway is the way to go. Um, for the autism focus, this is typically for individuals who are already certified um, to teach and to be a special education teacher, but they want additional um, knowledge and skills and experiences and expertise supporting students with autism. Um, regardless, this ideally, um, the program will be completed in two years. And uh, so it's essential or it's ideal for candidates to be able to complete this intensive graduate coursework 
within two to three years. Of course, um, and it's important to be able to meet the admissions requirements and it is beneficial to be willing to work and study hard. Thank you, Dr. Shelton. So now we're gonna continue by going over the application requirements. It is preferred to have a 3.0 or a better cumulative undergraduate grade point average. Also applicants must submit a completed application, which can be found on our school's website. The application fee is $80. Official transcripts from all post secondary institutions attended. Again, we need all official transcripts, including institutions you may have taken courses but did not receive a degree, an essay, and a current resume, two letters of recommendation from individuals who can speak to your work in the field of special education. And for the mild to moderate program, testing scores are required if your GPA is less than a 3.0 please visit the Maryland Department of Education website for a listing of tests that are accepted. Lastly, an interview is required. Applicants who meet admission, admission requirements will be asked to interview to ensure that their goals align with the program goals before an offer of admission. And if you're an international student, you must submit a passing IELTS score, TOEFL score. And if your degree was completed outside of the U.S., please keep in mind that you will need to complete a course-by-course -course evaluation. Additional information can be found on our school's website. And the tuition for the 2022-2023 academic school year is $918 per credit for face-to-face -face courses, $972 per credit for online courses, and keep in mind there is a $20 per credit technology fee. In addition, the registration fee is $175 per semester, and there's an application fee of $80 when you submit your application. For additional information on tuition and fees, please visit our school's website. And if you're interested in applying for financial aid, we strongly encourage you to apply for financial aid when you start your application. The School of Education offers a limited number of partial need-based inst institutional scholarships each year. And these awards range on average from $800 to $3,000 per semester and are applied to tuition expenses beginning in the fall semester. Please keep in mind to apply for the SOE endowed scholarships, students must complete the FAFSA form. To learn if you qualify for the endowed scholarship or have any questions regarding the financial aid process, please visit our school's website. All right, so at this time, we would like to open up the floor for questions. And while we wait for questions, Dr. Shelton, we do get some frequently asked questions um, in the Office of Admissions. And Dr. Shelton, the first one, uh, first question I have is, is there any uh, special education program that's fully online? Right now, the only program that's fully online is the Graduate Certificate in Autism. Um, but um, some of the other programs are 50-50 or maybe um, like for the Mouth to Moderate Disabilities Program, summer classes are on, are all online and some other classes are online as well. Thank you, Dr. Shaw. And, and the classes that are offered in person, where's the location for those classes? That's the Applied Physics Lab in Laurel, Maryland. Okay, and I actually have another question. Um, how many internships are scheduled and where do I do my internship for the mild to moderate program? So there are two internships. One, um, they're essentially in, if, you're, if you plan to complete the program in two years, one is in um, fall semester of your second year, and then the other is in spring semester or your final semester in uh, year two. And so um, for candidates who are already working in schools that align with their grade track um, and include students with disabilities, um, students can complete their internship 
at their school of employment. Otherwise, we work with some partner schools to um, identify internship placements for uh, candidates who need that. Um, and so just one more thing about the great track match, that essentially means if you are planning to seek your certification in uh, elementary middle, that you're completing your internship uh, with, or you're completing both internships with students with disabilities within grades one through eight. Thank you, Dr. Shelton. Uh, the next question I have is out of the two programs that you mentioned today, which one leads to teacher certification? That's the mild to moderate disabilities program. Um, and so one thing to note about that is we have candidates who work with students who um, have more extensive support needs or you know, what some call severe disabilities, um, but our classes really support all of our candidates in being able to support their students with disabilities. But it's the mild to moderate disabilities program that leads to certification. Thank you, Dr. Shelton, again. Um, and typically, um, how many courses do students take um, every semester for uh, both programs? Um, so I'm less sure about the master's with the, um, the autism focus, but for mild to mo moderate disabilities, most of the time it's two classes a semester. There are a couple of semesters where students take three classes. Um, my guess is that um, for the autism focus, it's similar since it's a similar number of credits and courses. Thank you, Dr. Shelton. Looks like we got one question. Um, so, um, the, the master's in special education with an emphasis on ABA, I believe there is um, an info session coming up on January 19th. 19, I believe, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you can always email Dr. Martyr at tmartyr1 for specific questions if you want to you know, get started thinking about that before the info session. All right, and we can wrap it up with our last question. Uh, Dr. Shelton, do you have any like tips or advice for students who are interested in applying to uh, the two programs that you mentioned today um, on their application? I know you there was a slide on like the ideal candidate. Um, anything else you would like to share for our prospective students? Um, I don't think so. I think the main thing is um, making sure that the program you select aligns with your uh, professional goals. And if there are any questions that you have between now and submission of your application, um, please reach out to me if it's about the mild to moderate disabilities program or Dr. Martyr if it's about the autism focus, the grad certificate or um, the ABA focus. Thank you. All right, it looks like there are no more questions. Um, here on this slide, we have some important contact information. Any admissions related questions, please, re please reach out to my colleague, Tanya McMillan. Any program related questions, Camila Mika Sims. Thank you again for your interest in the Johns Hopkins School of Education, everyone. Thank you, have a wonderful evening. Thank you, Dr. Shelton for the wonderful presentation. Thank you all.